we're just whisking it a little bit together i'm going to add a tablespoon or so of spinach powder which is just what it sounds like powdered spinach and this, this gives you the green it gives me a little bit of a green and it also adds the spinach flavor to the pepper and wet. salt about i don't know half a teaspoon of salt and we're adding about a teaspoon of garlic just because we like garlic you can leave it out you can also leave the spinach powder out you could put paprika into it you could put curry into it you can not put anything into it it's up to you cup and a half of all-purpose flour if it's too thin and runny add a little bit more flour if you add too much flour add a little bit more milk pan is preheated and we're just brushing on oil you could use butter could do whatever take about a third of a cup of batter a little less since this is a smaller pan and all you do here you swirl it around until it covers the whole pan then you cook it same principle i started on high i've now gone down to medium same principle as the other one it will start to bubble up a little bit then it's ready to be flipped you have a spatula one of those one of these all you do it takes a little bit of practice you get it away from the edge go in the middle and flip we're making the spinach and ricotta filling for the savory crepes this is a little bit of, this is a Hungarian bacon, but any bacon can work or leave it out, just use olive oil. But I want a little bit of a smoky flavor and American bacon isn't smoky enough for my taste, but it works perfectly well. And we're just sweating it a little bit together with maybe a quarter onion, finely chopped. now it's just beginning the the onions are getting a little glassy and the uh, bacon is turning a little brown this is chopped frozen spinach you can use fresh spinach but then you need to chop it this one as you can hear the clacking noises it's still frozen all we want is to mix it up a little bit for now and then we drain the spinach to get the fluids out we don't want soggy crepes Cook this for about four to five minutes on medium low. You see there's still some water. I want it fairly dry, so I'm taking it to the sink to drain the water out. It goes into a colander. And now I'm draining the water out. If you can see, there goes the fluid. And it also helps cool the spinach down a little bit before we add the cheese. Now we're adding ricotta cheese. Is the spinach. Remember we don't want a runny filling. While the spinach is still warm, it's also going to pull some fluid out of the ricotta. If it does and you see it, just let the fluid run to one side and drain it off. This is nutmeg. I always like nutmeg with spinach. Not too much, otherwise it tastes like soap. Since we want it fairly dry, we're adding garlic powder. But if you have fresh garlic, you can add that too. If you use fresh garlic, I would uh, saute it along with the onion. Salt, about half a teaspoon, and pepper. A little blend for me so we're adding more seasoning it has enough salt i figured that much out i'm going to add a little bit of curry for a bite and a little bit more pepper and that should do it we're filling one of the savory crepes the way i like to do it is i spread it over most of the crepe and it might take some could use a knife
and then I'll just roll them up so that it is looks like a little spiral on the inside then we put them in a baking dish and do the next one sure that the seam side goes on the bottom this way it can't unroll or do anything that you don't want it to do it just smells so. sauce and we're just going to drizzle some of it on here and then it goes in the oven for about 10 minutes to bake 400 degrees should do it 